What's up guys, Phoenix here and we're back for another review, this time we're going to be looking at Werewolf the Apocalypse. Oh and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an upload. Let's get into it. At first, I wasn't sure what to make of Werewolf when it was first announced. It was different and I hoped it'd be something new and a breath of fresh air, and in some ways it delivers, but after spending a while with it, I kind of felt underwhelmed. Players take on the role as Kahal, who, after being unable to control his rage, leaves his tribe behind only to return to him when he discovers they're in danger. Kahal is an eco-terrorist, and the main underlying message from the game is one of saving the planet. I do think it's interesting to see a video game comment on real world problems. Too late. Engine's already here. Graphically, the game's good in places, but unfortunately not throughout. Some of the scenery's decent, but there are some locations that feel very much the same as others. A bit more variation would have been nice here. The pre-rendered cutscenes though are pretty awesome. Five years ago, I abandoned the woods of Tarker's Mill. I abandoned my cairn. The main character looks pretty good, but some of the character animations, particularly in the face when they're speaking, they would have been considered good on the 360 or PS3, but on current or next-gen consoles, they just aren't up to scratch. I've recently gained access to the system that controls all the on-site oil pumps. That's our target. I did enjoy some of the sounds in the game as well, such as the roars and the growls of the werewolves, and the in-game music was high tempo and fit the theme of the game well. Unfortunately, the voice acting is consistently wooden. It's nowhere near the worst in the world, but it's not going to win any awards either. I'll go look after the injured. I rang the weather stormers and asked them to lend us a hand too. Don't worry about me, you just do what you gotta do. In terms of gameplay, Kahal has three forms. There's his human form, his wolf form and his werewolf form. Each of these have different uses, and it's up to you to decide which approach you take in most situations. In his human form, he can sneak around using takedowns and his crossbow for stealth kills, and interact with the environment such as using computers and pressing switches, or talking to NPCs. His wolf form is mainly used for infiltration and speed, and his werewolf form is almost exclusively used for combat, and this is where the game fails in its execution. To fight your battles, you will need power. The combat in this game isn't as fun as you might think at first. There's a skill tree for unlocking new abilities, but for the most part, combat consists of constant button mashing. It's too simple and underwhelming. There's no fluid combo system like Devil May Cry, and I feel like that would have made all the difference. At times it's tricky to tell what's going on as well because the screen becomes too busy and even the boss fights didn't offer up as much of a challenge as I'd hoped for. Werewolf the Apocalypse does have some fun moments, the most enjoyable for me being sneaking about as a wolf, but it doesn't offer that new fresh experience that I expected. Instead, it played like a game from a generation ago, with wooden voice acting, simplistic combat, and some dodgy facial animations. You're even having some trouble lately. You hear correctly. We were attacked a few days ago. We pushed them back, but let's just say we're a little understaffed right now. Overall, it's tough to know where to place Werewolf. I wouldn't consider it a AAA title, but nor is it an indie title. It sort of sits in between the two. This is a game that's worth a go if it's on sale and you're looking for something a bit different, but I don't think it justifies itself as a full price release. I'd rate it no more than 6 out of 10, which is a shame, but it just doesn't quite stand up for itself as a next gen title, and it was a little disappointing. We, the werewolves, remain born of man, beast, and spirit. What did you guys think? Did Werewolf live up to your expectations? Did it exceed them? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and until next time friends, stay safe.